Exactly. Do you think it's uh, the it's more substantial to have uh, biblical data uh, versus uh, uh, information and data that does back up the Bible, but more relatable to uh, the community or people? You know, what I'm saying that may not be uh, studying as much as you do. They're one and the same. It's like right. when you when you really know y'all, you know it's connected. Right. You know. So some of the historic things that happen in the world, you know why they're happening. Our whole story here, a lot of people don't know. Like, bro, this book is about us. Right. And a lot of people don't know that. Even the the, the, the situation, the challenges we have in this country is in this book. Two things I've, I've learned in my studies thus far is if you don't take into account the language, the people that wrote this book spoke in the time that they was in, you're not gonna get all of it that you could be getting because the average person, and I even did this myself, when you're reading, you're thinking about yourself and the time you in now. So when I was reading it in 95, I was thinking about 95. When I was reading it in 05, I was thinking about 05. I wasn't thinking about BC. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Right. Cause so a lot of the rules and guidelines they went by at that time, not the same as now. Right. So even, the word Lord, for example, Lord translated in Hebrew means Baal. Baal means Satan. You don't know that, but you read certain scriptures and they say the Lord in two ways. They say the Lord meaning a person and they say Lord meaning the creator. Ask yourself, even if you don't know a whole lot about the Bible, you some people kind of know of the part of him being a jealous God, so to speak. Right. Why would he want to be labeled like everybody else? Why would he want to be labeled like a human, an imperfect human? Right. Would that, even if you don't know none of the historic context, does that make sense? No, not at all.